Grammy Award winning artist Alicia Keys is in Chicago today encouraging kids to go for their goals. That's right, Janet Davies is here to tell us about the singer's visit on today's Chicago Close Up. Janet. Robin Karen, Alicia Keys grew up in New York's Hell's Kitchen, a tough neighborhood. Now she's reaching out to kids facing the challenges of urban life. And today, Keys told Chicago students there's no such thing as an impossible dream. It's not every day that the kids at the Betty Shabazz International Charter School have a Grammy winner stop by for a chat. Keys is here for the From the Ground Up program. Workshops are designed to motivate teenagers to map out a plan for success. Along with setting goals, they're shown how values and integrity will serve them all through life. Thank you so much for having us here today and showing us your beauty. It's shining so brightly. I'm honored to be here with you today. So I want to thank you for celebrating me as I celebrate every single one of you. A Harlem Community Center helped her focus on music and her future beyond the temptations of the street. I remember seeing a lot of devastating things from when I was really young. Um, drugs, hoes, pimps, prostitutes, that kind of thing, needles, and that certain type of lifestyle always made me feel like I will never, I just will never allow myself to get to that point. Despite her surroundings, Alicia became a child prodigy on the piano, was valedictorian graduating at 16 with a chance to attend Columbia University. Giving back by inspiring fans is a special thrill for Alicia. Alicia joined the kids in exercises targeted to encourage excellence. I, I definitely see a lot in their faces that, you know, I remember in school and just being in different situations, um, just period, you know, growing up and finding your way. But for me, the thing that I would say is just to really try to take your time. This is definitely the foundation of everything you're going to be. And so take your time and drink it in. Alicia Keys was so impressed with Chicago Shabazz School that she wants to start one just like it in New York City.